video, we're going to go through combinations with repetitions, and here's the formula. When we want to select what the repetition r of n distinct objects, we find the number of arrangements being n plus r minus 1 factorial over r factorial times n minus 1 factorial, which is equal to n plus r minus 1 choose r. The number of combinations of n objects taken r at a time with repetition is, as I said before, uh, n plus r minus 1 choose r. And this is how we write it. So really, that's all just a bunch of words to you, I know. So let's just go through a couple of examples to see how it's really used, because that's how what we're really interested in. So let's consider the first example where we have a video game store that offers 20 different games. Now each of these games, there are at least a dozen of each game. So there are at least 12 copies of each game when we enter the store. So how many ways can we select a dozen games? And we're selecting a dozen games because we're very wealthy. So this is how we're going to do things. Now we know that there are 20 different games, so these are 20 distinct objects. So n would of course equal to 20. And each of these games have at least a dozen copies, so at least 12 copies. So r would be equal to 12. Now using this formula that we have here, that we have looked briefly looked through in the beginning of this video, uh, what we do is we do c 20 plus 12 because we're just substituting these these variables or these numbers for the for the formula that we have already established. So 20 plus 12 minus 1 choose 12. And this is equal to 31 choose 12 if you do if you work out the simple calculations. And this will equal to 141 million 120,000 and 525 ways. So that's there's that many ways of uh, selecting a dozen games. Now here's a trickier example. We want to distribute seven apples and six oranges among four children such that each children gets at least one apple. Now here's the tricky part. Now each children have to get at least one apple. So how the heck do we go through this and, and find the answer to this? So it's actually really simple. So we'll just go through the apples, distributing the apples first, then we distribute the oranges. So first, n is equal to 7 because we have 7 apples. But then what we have to consider is we also have to consider giving each apple to 4 children or an apple to children. So we have to minus 4 because each children gets an apple. So n is actually 3. So, um, so n is 3. Wait. Um, n is not 3. This is not n. This is actually r because the apples are identical. It's the children that are distinct. So n is equal to 4. So these fruits are identical, right? Just lost my mind there for a while. So these are identical. So what we have to do, we already found our n and r. So again, we just use the formula that we had in the beginning to find the different ways to get the apples. So we do c 4 plus 3 minus 1, 3. And that will give us 20 ways to distribute our apples. 20 ways to distribute our apples. And I am lagging. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So 20 ways, oh my god. 20 ways to distribute our apples. Now what we have to do is we have to distribute our oranges. And it's much the same way, but then in this case, for oranges, we don't have to distribute uh, one orange to each children. So a, ch a child can, can there's the case where a child does not get any oranges at all. So r is equal to 6, and our n is kept the same because the children doesn't, doesn't change. So what we actually do is we use the formula again. n is equal to 4, r is equal to 6. We do the minus 1 following the formula, and we... Um, we choose 6. And this will give us 84 ways. Because we follow the formula n plus r minus 1 r. And um, therefore, using the rule of product, uh, which we looked through in one of my past videos, there are 20 times 84 20 times 84 ways, or 1,680 ways, to distribute the fruit under the stated conditions. So, what we did here to recap is 
we distributed one apple to each children first to take care of this condition that each children get at least one apple. So we take 7 minus 4 to get 3 apples. So after that, with 4 children, we use the formula to just define how many ways to distribute the apples among the children. So we got 20 ways. And after that, we used the six oranges and we used the formula again to get 84 ways to distribute oranges. We times them together to get the d number of different ways to distribute apples and oranges under the stated conditions. So that's all I want to teach you for the day. It's really simple what we went through for combinations with repetitions. In the next video, we'll go through some more tricky questions and yeah, look forward to that. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and I'll see you guys in the next video.